You're about to leave office. How would you like to be remembered? The president who served his country so well, um, empowered the people, restored confidence in them, self-confidence in them. Uh, so they began to take initiatives uh, on their own. What are the what is the biggest challenge you leave your successor in Ghana? Well, uh, it's still good governance. I find that uh, it forms the base uh, of all development. And uh, governance involves people. If you get uh, good leaders, everything else falls in place for advancement. Do you think that there's a danger where uh, across the continent, including Kenya, where uh, leaders will, s will see a situation where they're going to lose an election and, and then force a situation where they know that other African leaders will come in and push a government of national unity whereby they then stay in power? This will not be the pattern. Uh, once you accept to live uh, within the, the, the democratic arrangement whereby the people are free to choose who should lead them through the ballot box. Then you accept the verdict of the people. That must be the trend. Do you see two faces of Africa here where on the one hand you have vibrant democracies and on the other hand you have old despots that just refuse uh, to give up power? Um, you, you put it in a black and white way that I won't uh, subscribe to. Rather, I would put it this way, that Africa is in transition and therefore uh, we are moving from the old times when strong men and dictators uh, held sway into the times uh, when the people decide through the ballot box. But, but Robert Mugabe doesn't seem to want to give up power. He s seems to think he is president for life and at whatever cost that comes at. I mean, is, isn't that, doesn't that drag Zimbabwe Let down me and, put the, you, and the region? Again, let's get it in the right frame. Uh, the African Union met uh, in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, uh, about two, three weeks ago, and resolved to appeal to Mr. Mugabe to go back to his country to talk with the opposition so the country would be brought back together to make a way forward, a positive way forward. Uh, I believe it was a loaded uh, resolution. It wasn't an endorsement of the situation as it is there now. It wasn't. It was a criticism, rather. Was it a strong enough criticism? This d resolution I talked about was adopted with Mr. Mugabe sitting in at the hall, sitting with your peers as president, you as president, sitting in with your peers, president. But there are no consequences. And they look you in the face and tell you, go back and talk to you, your opposition. I, I believe that was a serious comment. Does Ghana recognize Mugabe as president? I won't answer that question. But you're the leader of the country and you're the head of the... Ghana relates with Zimbabwe. Ghana as a nation relates with Zimbabwe. Not answering would suggest that no, you don't. <laughs> you, you don't commit me either way. So you'd rather, I, I so you'd rather I, stay non-committal on, on that? No, I'm not answering you, I said. Not answering doesn't mean you are committed or not committed. But what does it mean? It means I'm not answering. I don't see how it will help the situation there, and we want to help the situation there to get better. Ghana has... Uh, oil. Um, well, thank and God. <laughs> yes, we have. And how are you going to make sure that the wealth that comes from your oil um, isn't just uh, benefit, uh, the elite aren't just the beneficiary of that, and it does trickle down to the people of this country? It's going to be a blessing because uh, 
the uh, mechanisms to ensure uh, some uh, cabal or small group of people will not corner it for their exclusive and selfish ends uh, are being put in place. So the benefits would redound to the people everywhere. 